So this is a quick video response to Bloke and Mech. How you doing? I will link to your video, the video I'm responding to in the low bar. Uh, I'm with her. Yeah, she's a very dangerous revolutionary. She follows the PIB doctrine, so be careful of that one. On the Gatta Aggressifer 411 video, and I'll also link that in the low bar. Yeah, I, I kind of see what you mean. Science is a method. It's accessible to all people. It doesn't belong to a particular people group. It doesn't advocate for a particular people group. Reasoning ability, same thing. Inherent to all people, regardless of race. Indeed, I'd say logic is distinct from people. It's a platonic reality. But that's a different video. Now, even though I think she could have presented it better, I do feel there's some merit in what she's saying. So, statistics can be neutral. Um, well, it really depends entirely on how it's done. Yeah, The maths involved is objective, but the inputs are subjective. So, for example, crime. Blacks statistically commit more crime. Yeah, I'm sure you've heard that before. But what's a crime? How do we define that? So, murder, burglary, etc., fine. But does our definition of crime include all behaviour that adversely impacts innocent parties? No, it doesn't. Some devastating antisocial behaviour is not classified as a crime at all. Let me give you an example. Um, do you remember long-term capital management? It was a hedge fund. It collapsed in the 90s. They were massively leveraged. It required a Federal Reserve organised bailout in the billions. Were any crimes committed? No. Gambling with huge amounts of borrowed money? Not a crime. Same with this banking bailout we've just had. Cash for trash. Where central banks buy crappy assets from financial institutions to bolster up their balance sheets. Um, I think it's called TARP in the States. Again, gambling on massive leverage, then when the bets go south, hand it over to society to pick up the bill. Any crimes committed? No. More antisocial, more damaging than most actions that you would be arrested for? Yes, absolutely. If you added up the monetary value of all crimes committed by blacks throughout history, you probably wouldn't even get close yeah, to the robbery that's, <laughs> that's just been done. Most of the guys in the boardrooms of these companies are white. Yeah, they're very powerful, so don't expect these things to be criminalised anytime soon. Yeah, see, I think that's what she's getting at. Powerful people ain't going to criminalise themselves. So when we look at crime statistics, we need to think and make sure we're getting the whole picture. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, have a good one.